English opening, symmetrical, anti-Bononi, Spielman defense, 5.NC3 NC6. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than Black in the opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. c5 attacks the d4 pawn, asking white if they will allow the exchange on d4 or if they will push the d4 pawn to d5. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. This offers an equal trade of pieces. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. This kicks an opposing knight. This is the only good move. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is the last book move. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This might indicate that a bishop was attacked. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This poses a material threat. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This threatens to kick a queen. It is a mistake. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to kick a queen. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. 
That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. This reveals a rook attack. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is worse. It is best. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This misses a chance to make a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. Initially, black had the upper hand, but now the score is nearly equal. It is incorrect. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is best. Although the game was nearly tied, white is now in a losing position. It is incorrect. Black still has the better position, but they lost their winning advantage. It is a miss. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses a chance to move the king out of the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This allows the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a miss. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This captures a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to pin a pawn. It is best. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is quite good. This results in a pawn being lost. It is a mistake. This wins a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to use a rook to support a passed pawn. It is excellent. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. A very strong play. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.